Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So I have two completion reviews to show you today. Uh, they are both from Everyday E-Deals and they were both in PR packages sent to me uh, by the lovely people at Everyday E-Deals. Um, the gnome was from July and these butterflies were sent from July as well. So I got two special drill canvases uh, in the same PR package. Uh, I wanted to save my gnome for well i was saving him for possibly november or for halloween and um, but diamond grandma is doing a fall y'all event so i decided that this is very fall isn't it it's just such gorgeous colors uh, and i love doing this it just really did make me smile and the more colors i put on it the more i thought wow that is stunning but just look at that pumpkin orange with that green and can we get some sparkle let's see if we can get get my little gnome sparkling just that little bit see if he'll just a little bit of spark oh yes you can get that sparkle there i've had to put the light on i'm afraid it is starting to get that little bit dark today oh you can see the sparkle there and we even got a hot pink on the hat but isn't this hat fab i reckon he's got pumpkins in this hat you know because we've got like a big round there that looks like it could be a pumpkin and then we've got a little one there and a little one there so i reckon he's got some pumpkins that he's carrying on his head <laughs> but i love the shading on his beard i love this green i just think that it's so fall colors with the yeah, pumpkin there and then this gorgeous green we've got our little red fairy toad stool down there and all the falling leaves it had plenty of stick on it uh, the drills just went down like a dream all matched up plenty left over really lots left over so i shall be putting some of those away in my drills but uh, this one will be going up on my wall uh, so yeah and i love the fact that it's got the blue background i think the blue just really sets it off so that was the first one and did i put the price down yeah it was six dollars and 99 cents um so yeah i'll uh, put the link down below so you can uh, go and check him out but yeah hopefully he's still available because i just think you know if you're wanting some like um autumn fall decorations but nothing too scary then this is as least scary as you get really he is quite funny he's leave your feet at the bottom as well <laughs> So that was the first one and then this one I actually started this uh, a couple of weeks ago and then I had a disaster because I dropped all of the AB drills all over the floor but fortunately it was the black with the green and blue coating on it which is the one that goes all the way around the butterfly here and in between and I had a lot of spares of those so that was easy to do. Um, I did use one of those little vacuums, you know, to just hoover them all up. But I must have really dirty carpets because they ended up with so many um, bits in with it. I thought, oh no, I can't use this. Uh, I did try washing them, but then they just seemed to go really dull when I washed them. So I decided to just throw those away and start again. But this is absolutely the bling on this, if uh, the bling on the um, gnome is wonderful. But look, see if I can get, yeah, you can. We've got all the white pearls offsetting all the sparkly gems in between, all the crystally gems. And yeah, I think you can, oh yeah, catch the sparkle on that. Look at that, coming round to the purpley pinks. And I just think it's so pretty. I love the fact that this one, is more of your purpley colours and this one is more of your pinky colours and then you've got the clear crystals just offsetting everything with these like gorgeous I think these are orchids uh, I'm sure they're orchids because they've got like the little drop teardrop there with a little round and I think that's how they've done the orchid but they're just so pretty and again a gorgeous background with like this paint dripping effect just to sort of enhance it and not take anything away from the main picture but uh, yeah, so this one is going to be framed as well. And again, really sticky. Gems went down like a dream. Um, you tend, you don't tend to get popping when you're doing like a partial special drill because they don't tend to be that close together. Uh, and if they are, there's usually plenty of wiggle room. But, you know, none of them started lifting up or coming up or anything. Really pretty. And was that the... That's the gnome, I can't even see what I'm doing, look. 
and that's the butterfly and again lots and lots left over look how pretty those are okay so what i'm going to do i've got some of these magnetic frames now then these come in several different colors uh, from black white um, silver and gold and I think there's red and all sorts I wish I'd got a red one I may get a red one uh, for this painting because I think red would just bring out the red in these fall leaves that we've got these lovely autumnal leaves um, and would just make that stand out better but he'll have to go in black for now um, there is a clear cover on them so that needs to come off now that I am actually using this one. I didn't realise there was a clear cover on these paintings. They just hold your 30 by 40s exactly. Uh, and literally, it just your painting just slots in there and it just snaps shut. Yay! And I, also something I've learned is that these are actually big stickers. So this, if you peel this white part off the back, uh, she says carefully, try not to... Uh, lift that bit up there that is a huge sticker so you can stick it on the wall um but to be honest i don't really want these stuck on the wall and unless it's got a nice background like this you're going to see the background of whatever's behind on the wall so i'm going to keep mine with the white background and then i'm just going to well i have been just using command strips on the back because i didn't know these came off <laughs> It's amazing what you learn on YouTube. I do watch a lot of other creators and yeah, I noticed that this other creator peeled the back off to stick it on the wall and I thought, I didn't know it did that. <laughs> you learn something new every day. So I'm going to cut down this note and pop him into uh, my book. Sorry, I'm going to pop him into the frame and put his bits around the edges into my book. My little log book. Oh, where's Miss Barclay scissors? Come here. Got the rainbow scissors out, don't I? Getting the wrong ones out, my nice rainbow scissors to go with my magical gnome. So yeah, try and keep these as straight as possible when you're cutting. And you the biggest pair of scissors you've got. And look to where you're cutting. Don't look at where you are actually cutting. Look to where you want to go. And it just tends to get you a little bit straight line. Okay, so I'm going to just give that a bit of a cut there. And we only need to keep one of these. So we'll cut that one off there. And we'll just cut that there. I may cut it down further when I put it in the log book, but we'll see. I just always like to keep my key codes just in case. You never know, you might need it. Uh, we've had a bit of a crazy few days um as i said on the giveaway video congratulations to the winner um yeah just did a little spot video sneaked in between um one of my uh, little chit chats so yeah you had to put hashtag boo on the uh, video that it was on and uh, yeah all the ladies that entered have now been uh, the winner has now been chosen so there you are so keep an eye out. You never know when another one might drop in. <laughs> it's all a bit of fun and it's just me saying thank you to everybody for watching and supporting me. It is very much appreciated. Do you know this might actually go in the silver one as well, but it's going to have to go in the black for now because I want my butterflies in the silver. But we'll see. We'll maybe swap them around. Okay. So, yeah, um, I haven't had any videos over the last couple of days because we've had a few technical difficulties, uh, namely me, in the fact that, um, yeah, I had to go out and get a new phone. So when I got my new phone, you know what it's like. You then spend hours playing with it. Um, I mean, it's exactly the same as the other one, just the newer model. But it's exactly the same, but different. <laughs> and of course, you've got to reset all your passwords. And, oh, dear. Um, it took two hours to do the transfer thing in the shop because I got the uh, young man in the shop to do it for me because I just knew I'd have problems. Uh, yes, yeah, so that's been uh, why I've not been on the last couple of days. Right, let me uh, pop this in here. So they really are good, these. I love it. 
and the fact that once they're on the wall as I say i use command strips uh, you can just then interchange them but uh, the ones i've got at the moment are full you see now because i've cut the edges off this this one is slightly smaller than the 30 by 40 frame so i do want that little bit of a white edge round and um, i will probably put a little bit of uh, double-sided tape on the back of him just to get him exactly in the center and in the right place when he goes on the wall um but yeah it just literally slots in and that's him framed and i think that's a really good way of doing it plus as well there's no dusting you can just wipe the front there's none of the little edges you know and the little corners that you get in photograph frames and picture frames where you have to get right in to get the dust out well i do anyway <laughs> what you say you don't have dust in your house you must be very very good i'm hopeless <laughs> Okay, and I just thought this would probably look nice in this uh, silver frame. Ooh, oh, be the black might look better, but we can have a look. And because they're easy to, uh, the paintings are easy to take in and out of these frames, you can play about a lot more. It's awful when you get um, a frame where you've got those horrible little um, black metal things that um, tear your fingers and your nails when you're trying to do them and undo them. Uh, yeah, I use the uh, tweezers, the cheap tweezers for doing that job now. It's uh, made uh, my nails and my manicures last a lot longer. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I do prefer these just for my diamond paintings. But so I do swap them out. I'll be doing like a fall and a Halloween theme. And then once that's over, I may leave my fall ones up a bit. And then it will be Christmas. And wait to see all the Christmas things I've got that will be going up in my house. And I've just noticed I've missed a bit on this painting. But that's okay. I shall do it in a second. Well, I won't do it in a second. It'll take me longer than that. But you know what I mean. <laughs> Do you ever do that you think you've finished a painting and then as you're doing something else with it like framing um you shouldn't suddenly realize oh i don't need two of those do i i've already got one uh when you're doing something like framing you suddenly think oops oops i've missed a bit <laughs> so yeah i'll have to uh, get them back out again and that also is another good idea to label your little um packets as you're going along when I open the packets that the drills come in, um, I put them into the little grip seal bags, but I do keep the number of whatever gem it was. So if, like on this one, I have forgotten to put some on, I've still got them all numbered up, ready to use. So, yeah, that's sort of like, it saves the guessing. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, if you're new to this channel, you're probably thinking, what on earth have I come across? This uh, person does not know what they're doing. <laughs> I do have uh, extra videos, how not to diamond paint and make YouTube videos. <laughs> no, I'm only kidding. <laughs> oh, look, I'm stuck to my painting now. All right. So all those bits can go in the bin. Take those out of the way. I just missed the bin as well so now i'm going to be picking those all up off the floor now then this one works in exactly the same uh, way as the other one now then does this have a clear cover on the front of it as well there was somebody told me about the clear cover on the front i didn't know about that either so yeah i do work listen and i love getting all your comments and uh, you're all far more observant than i am <laughs> Yeah, look, this one's got a clear cover on the front as well. Do you know, I bet the ones I've got on the wall downstairs have got clear covers on the front as well. And I've never noticed. <laughs> I have got four. Yeah, I've got two of the 30 by 40 size and two of the 30 by 30 sizes down on the wall at the moment. And I say, I bet I've, I've never noticed that uh, they had the clear cover on the front. And I definitely didn't notice that there was the uh, peel off bit on the back so let's get this one put in here i have got some gold ones as well but they're going to be saved for my christmas paintings that's a bit wonky liz so, so i'll line them all up when i decide where i'm putting them on the walls i've just scuffed that one a little bit now never mind i'll maybe put it through the way but i just think that looks really pretty 
in that silver frame. Does the silver bring it out a bit more, do we think? Sorry about the glare, as I've had to put the light on. Let's just swap them over and see what they look like swapped over. I'll just pop that in here. Um, I've just wafted everything on my desk. So everything's just gone weeding down the back of the, set, the back of my desk. So yeah, I do things like that. What can I say? <laughs> oh dear, I suppose actually, could you put it that way up? You could put that that way up really as well, couldn't you? It, um, I suppose this butterfly is going down. Would it go the other way up that way? Or it could go that way. That would look better because then the orchids are the right way up, aren't they? So yeah, you could put this anywhere really. It was designed as like a, a landscape picture with the two butterflies sort of going that way. But you could always put it that way. I don't think anybody would say you've got your picture the wrong way around if you put it that way. Although I suppose the paint drips really need to be going down, don't they? Yeah, paint drips don't really go sideways, do they? <laughs> well, they might do if I'm painting, you never know. I'm just going to swap these over and just see what they do look, look like. Look, 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 look like. <laughs> oh dear, my voice is malfunctioning as well. And see whether we look any better in the different colours, because he has got a silvery beard. They look better. Yeah, I don't know whether that deadens the colour a bit. Oh, I don't know though. Oh, now that's got me thinking because actually I quite like that in there. I still think a red one would look better. So let's see what the butterflies look like because there is quite a bit. Although it's the Aurora Borealis AB coated blacks in this, it is actually quite a bit of black and some of the background on the butterflies is black. So, uh, ooh, now then, I think that stands out better. Yes, I think that is better in a black frame. Let me know in the comments, what do you think? Which way around would you do the frames? Or would you put them both in black or both in silver? But I do think that that is now drawing out more colour because the black is bringing out sort of the black in the butterflies to then pop the colour that's around it as well. And actually, yeah, I do like him. In the silver oh my goodness wow okay right we've just got some drills to put away then um i'm not going to put away the standard crystals i am well at the moment i've lost the cards that i've got all cut up ready for doing my new storage box for my uh, crystals my you know just the standard round crystals um i bought some from rebecca at Mosest. And can I heckers like find them? I already had some that I've used and then I bought another set because I thought by the time I've bought the card and cut it all up myself, I'll have got it from Rebecca's and I can use it. And I had it on my shelf and I've moved it. And it's one of those things that it's probably sat on a shelf waving at me saying, hi Liz, I'm over here. And I just can't see it. <laughs> So yeah, it'll show up eventually and then I will show you my new drill storage. But I'm really pleased with them. I think they look really good in those frames. Okay, so I need to put away my special drill crystals. So this is my box of special drill based on Rebecca Admore Zest um, storage solution for her normal drills. This is my special drill storage. Down this side, I've got it all in colours of like white, green, blue, red. And then for every one, I have a large round, I have a teardrop and I have a marquee and I have a little bag for each one. Down this side is my Craft Buddy Crystal Art um, gems. And they all have, when you do the Craft Buddy Crystal Art um, pictures, cards, whatever, they all have like a code number for their special drills. So I'm using their code number for the special drills and I'm trying to match all the ones I've got at this side with all those. It'll make more sense as I go along. Uh, but yeah, so that's what I'm trying to do. So I can cut up... Oh, blah, blah, blah. So I'm not speaking today at all. So I can catalogue all my drills and have them all nice and safe and organised and pretty. <laughs> okay, so let's have a look at this one. What did we have left over? I'll leave the normal crystals in there, but we had some nice little marquees in silver, sparkly, some fiery red marquees, 
some this is the ones left over from the butterfly uh some little teardrops so i'm actually quite big teardrops in silver i nearly said gold then my brain's going uh i've got an empty bag <laughs> some rounds in silver some more marquees in light pink some fiery red rounds and then I believe that these are all just standard crystals. Oh, they're my lovely AB ones that are uh, the round like little pearls. Okay, that's another special. So there's a lot of specials. And then that's all the silver ones. And the silver ones, which I do believe that's what that uh, X, the 10 was X and 10. Yeah, so I want those for the bit that I've missed on this butterfly <laughs> but those i will put back in this little packet for now and i wonder why i've got an empty one i wonder if i used the bag because i couldn't find the bag that i've done yeah as i go along all i do is uh take the uh, tip the drills out of my packets and then i make a little bag and i just cut the number or the letter or whatever and keep that in with the drills until i've finished using them Right, so I need to check the craft buddy ones first. So we want all the round ones first. That's teardrops. They're rounds. They're marquees. Marquees. Marquees and marquees. Okay, so let's have a look at the large rounds first. Okay, so. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Yeah, they're all large rounds are all catalogued as a Y on Craft Buddy. So these are all the different ones that I've got from the Craft Buddy Crystal Art. Uh, if you do yours in a different way, let me know. As I say, this is just the way that I'm trying to work things out at the moment. Actually, I'm just thinking I might as well do the others at the same time as well um, from the gnome. So let me just get to my gnome. I don't think there was many specials. I think they were all mainly just the standard rounds. But let me just double check. Okay. Keep the little labels as well. I had one on the canvas and one on the drills. I keep those. Put one of those in my bag. Now, they're a slightly larger round. Okay. So, yeah, I think there was a couple of large rounds. That's a small... That's a small, that's a small, or a standard, should I say, they're just the standard gem size. They're small, they're larger rounds. Uh, they're this hot pink. Uh, that one's yet yeah, standard. Another empty packet. Um, oops. They're slightly larger. They're slightly larger. And there those, and there those. Okay. So from that then, we just ended up with a couple of extra round ones. I think they all went on the gnome's hat. Right. So might as well, as I say, do them all at once. So these are all the rounds. And let's just get them out there. Black. So that's not those. They're those. Okay. Right. So let's see what we can find a teardrop there's only one teardrop so that'll be easy to look for so we're looking for silvers and reds and blues and whites okay as you can see they've all got a number on and because they're all rounds they've got a round sticker on so we've got blues no they're all ab coated that's a roundy one that's an ab coated i think are they the same size let me just pop those back away there Let's have a look. Are they the same size as those? And are they the same colour? They do look the same colour. I think they could be them. So let's just keep that one out a second and double check if we've got any others. So oh, I love these. Do you know, I could sit and just go through these and play with them all day. It's awful, isn't it? I ought to get a hobby. <laughs> oh, I have got one, yeah, a diamond paint. <laughs> Yeah, they're definitely those, so I can put one away at least. Okay, so we will just tip those in with those. I think there might be one that's a slightly different colour in there. There's one that looks very pinky rather than just red. Or that could be the lights, I'm not quite sure. But anyway, so that's those away. 
Right, so Y is 78. Put that one back away in the right place. Okay, 80. Right. So that's the rounds. And then we need to look at the teardrops. And teardrops are actually a letter S. And we don't have those. No, we've got those, but they're in the smaller size, not the larger size. So we haven't got any of those. What's the others there that I've got? Oh, now then. Are they those instead? Nope, they're slightly smaller as well. Okay. So then I want to look at the marquees. And the marquees actually do begin with the letter M on the craft buddy system so we can look through the M's. So just pop those there a second. So we are looking for silver, pink, purple, and like a reddy color. Okay. And are they that size? Could be, or are they that size? Let me have a look. No, they're smaller. So are they that size? No, they're not. They're all a lot smaller. Oh, what's that one? Oh, no, that one's got like a ready coating on it. It's not the silvery coating. So we've not got that one either. Oh, dear. Right, so now we come to the fun bit of going through the colours. So now I'm going... Oh. Put that one back okay so now i need to look at my colors so we've got red and red we've got pink purple we've got a lot of silver and we've got a blue so silver silver white silver 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 i think that's like purpley color blue ready color and pink okay so let's have a look in the silvers so silver is right at the front i think think i've got silver then gold oh no i've got white first so let me have a look at my white abs right these are all my ab colors look at these <laughs> so yeah these are white abs i have a lot of the white ones oh i better get a tray hang on right so i want a tray uh, my new phone has a lot more storage as well so hopefully i'll be able to do the longer videos a bit more um, so my storage doesn't run out and then I don't end up with um, not being able to do the video because it won't transfer across because the video is too long or too big for transferring. Oh, it, ugh, my horrible system. Anyway, so yeah, they, this is an art dot storage system. It's a two drawer system and it has a little uh, thing on the top. But yeah, this is where I keep all my ABs. And again, I am putting the uh, DMC number on them as I get the DMC number. These here are all ones that I've got from other kits and other sets that I don't have the DMC number for. But as I get a new one with a DMC number, I just check to see whether it's one of those. So yeah, I end up with uh, a few different ones and I'm gradually adding to my collection. So that's just a few more whites. But I do use um, the whites an awful lot. That's the B5200 or just 5200 um, in the B. And uh, yeah, I do use them a lot. Right, so that's the only white one when we've put that away. Right, so now I need to look for silver. And the silvers, so the round ones we need to look at first. So let's get the rounds out. And the two rounds are like sort of a smallish size and then a mediumish size. So that could be, albeit that's got a coating on it and that one hasn't. So that could be that one, we think. That one could be that one. Okay, so let's have a look. Just double check the size. Yep, that is that one. So we can get rid of this one. Do you know, I, I, the amount of time I've spent doing this, but it's one of those things that you think, I wish I hadn't started um, because I wouldn't be not wasting all this time because I am organising and I'm managing to have a chat to everybody. Um, but I could be spending this time doing diamond painting. Uh, so, yeah, it's a, it's a strange thing to do, really. But in another way, I am glad I've done it because if I do need anything, 
they are all now organised and these are all sorted out. And then, as I say, eventually I've got my code card that I will make up with them all on. So I will know which ones I've got and which ones I've not. Um, I'm not spending as much time uh, sorting out my spares as I was because I want to spend the time diamond painting. And as I say, as Hubby has got better, um, he's wanting to go out that bit more. So I don't get as much time in the house to be doing all these things. Right, so let's have a look at the marquees. So have I not got... Are they the little ones? Yes, there's... Those are the, those are the, <laughs> oh dear Liz, there's no wonder I can't speak another language, I can't even speak English properly, <laughs> oh dear. right, get in there then you little critters, okay, so that's that one, so now we just need to look for teardrops. And then I also have a category of miscellaneous as well. So I just have, for each colour, um, special drill that I have, special shaped drill that I have. I have four categories, the large rounds, which also includes the smaller ones, but specials. Um, marquees, teardrops, and then miscellaneous, which are like stars and all things like that. So they could be those, but they look as though they've got more of a sparkle on see if I've got any plain ones, you see I've got, now there should be a miscellaneous, they shouldn't, that should be in round, so that wants to go into miscellaneous, I've obviously last time I put those away, oh no these are miscellaneous because they've got the um, star stamped in the top, that's why I've done that, hearts, stars, more stars, more stars, little snowflakes, one huge round, well oval, um, more little hearts and then some little uh, rectangles. So I've got lots of different ones there. But the teardroppy ones, I think those are those. I think they're just these are just a bit more sparkly than those. But they are the same, so that's okay. Alright, so this isn't a perfect way of doing it. You know, it's just the way I do it and sometimes it's just nice to see how other people do things and it can maybe give you an idea and think oh well if you do it that way then I could maybe do it like that but just do this as well and it just gives you that little bit of an idea okay so what's the next one uh, I think we're then gold and orange so now we want to be on red and pink so pink all we've got in pink is marquees, so we need to be looking in pink marquees. Okay, and it's definitely not those. Oh, it could just be those. I think they're the right size. Yes, they are. Just double check the others. Do you know, I think they could be the same thing. I think those two are identical. I wonder why I've got two bags. I wonder what I was thinking when I did that. That looks like red to me, so that wants to go in the reds. And yeah, so that's that one. Okay. So they do look identical. I wonder why I've done two bags. I must have been having one of because they're definitely they faceted. No, they're not. No, they are identical, so that's fine. I shall just put all these into one bag. And uh, that gives me an extra bag as well to put something else in. I wonder how many different ones there are. Thousands was the reply. It's definitely hundreds, definitely hundreds of different ones. Um, I've still got a lot of my drills to put away from my splashing the specials as well. So I may do a day. Um, a day. <laughs> I may do a video, mind you it might take a day, of sorting those out. So yeah, they're actually those. So let's have a look now in red. And in red we want large rounds. So red I've got after pink, I think, she says. Where's me? Oh, that's purple. That shouldn't. 
Oh, that's purple miscellaneous. So I've got green. So it's red. Oh, red's maybe before pink then. Red's before pink. I thought, I thought it was, but I came to the pink first. So, right, I'm looking in large rounds first for this fire. Oh, picked them all up. Look. Oh, fire. <laughs> They're all wanting to escape. Get back in. Okay, so it's not those, not those. We're looking for a fire red. Okay, I can see one sparkling at me at the back. Is it that one? Let me just put those away first before I drop them all. Don't want them all escaping. Once they get off the desk, they've gone. Because there's that much on my floor at the moment. Yes, they're definitely those. So I can go grab those. Okay. Quite funny as well having a new phone because I don't have to keep looking to see if the battery's running out. Because uh, it's a brand new battery, so it should last longer. I say it's a lot bigger storage, so that should last longer as well. Famous last words. <laughs> so that's my round. So now I want my marquees, so red marquees. Okay, oh, that's pink marquees. Let's find the right ones, Liz. Marquees, marquees, come before teardrops, M before T. Thinking of which, what am I going to have for tea tonight? I don't know. Are they the same size? Yes, they are. So, I'll pop those back and I will put all of these into here. Okay, and then this, you may or may not be pleased to know, there is just two more left to do. quickly run downstairs and start doing some video editing okay and then hopefully i will get this video up tonight for you and uh, we'll get back on track with doing videos yay i don't like uh, just coming and having a chat right i'm looking for purple that's green oh blues next so let's have a look at the round blues okay see if we've got a little round blue and I do believe we might have. Oh, are they those? Oh, they're, they're a slightly different colour. So we'll keep those there a second. Oh, and I think they're a little bit bigger as well. Oh, I've got two sizes in there, I think. Okay. Is it that one? Nah, it's that one. It's that one. Yes, it's that one. Okay. Right. So blue, blue, blue. Those back there, large rounds. Okay, so just one more to do is the purple. And then I think I am done. Yay! Okay, nearly picked those up to put those in there. That's not a good thing to do, Liz. That's blue. So it's purple after blue. No, yellow's after blue. So did we put purple near pink? Yes, purple's near pink and red. Okay. So purple is marquees. And I've just got a couple. So is it that one? Um, oh, looks like oh, there's some more of those red ones. Oh my goodness me. I must have been putting those in all different places. Looks like I've put the ones with the marquee, uh, with the AB coating with the ones that haven't. Although they, oh, I think they have got an AB coating, so I'll put those in there. Purple seems to be one that you don't really get much of, or I don't seem to anyway. Maybe it's just the paintings I do. But I do like my purple, or my mauve, or my lilac, or my violet. <laughs> Okay, so let's just go back to this red one again. Marquees. And, yep, that's those. So I ended up with um, several different bags of this one. And they're all the same. How bizarre. So I'm getting this. I'll just 
grabbed myself two bags back again. That's it. I've got another two bags or three bags that I can use again for something else. Just keep those at the front there. Okay, and that is that. All done and put away. Yay! Right, well, thank you ever so much, Everyday E Deals, for uh, sending me these pictures to do. I've thoroughly enjoyed doing them. I absolutely love them. I think that has just come out so pretty. And I don't like my little gnome. I don't like my gnomes. <laughs> Okay, well, if you've enjoyed looking at these with me, as always, a thumbs up is very much appreciated. And if you've got any comments or questions, leave them in the comments down below. Let me know which picture you would have put in which colour frame. And if you want to come back and see what I get up to next, then if you press that subscribe button and the all notifications bell that pops up, you'll be notified when any of my videos come up. So thanks ever so much for stopping by and I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.